So I am here with the Anderson family, um, and we're here to talk about stewardship and generosity. So if you guys would just say your names really quick. I'm Katie. I'm Gianna. Emily. Derek. Awesome. And so um, Andersons, we are in our final week, getting ready for our final week of stewardship, our final week in this season of creation. And so if you could tell me, what does stewardship or generosity mean to you? You want to say yours? Sure. Generosity, um, for me, it means like being kind and just being generous in general. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Uh, generosity to me is um, giving some things to somebody and not, expect and not expecting anything in return. Yeah, definitely. I would say I would agree with Blake. It's giving something of yourself, whether it's your time or your money, whatever it is that you feel you want to give and not expecting much of anything or anything in return for what you've given. I think many times we think about generosity as being something big, mm. some big outward show of, you know, something you know that just in, like bigger and, and impactful um, but I think sometimes we forget it could just be something very small it could be something as you know as, as easy as giving a smile or you know saying something in a certain way or just acknowledging someone's actions or um, you know good work uh, it doesn't even have to cost any money it could just be something that's very simple to do yeah and so instead of thinking about generosity as being a, a one-time thing maybe trying to cultivate a kind of an attitude of generosity yeah right. and i think i try to focus on just those small interactions mm. trying to maybe you know brighten somebody's day by just saying something that goes unspoken yeah how did you learn to be generous oh gosh uh -uh. I mean, I definitely think it's a lead by example situation. So looking looking at the people who have come before me, my parents, my grandparents, and just watching them and their interactions and their actions, it's really, I mean, I think it's important for me as a parent to show that. And so for, I get, I mean, it's a nurtured, learned behavior in my mind, I guess. <laughs> yeah, kind of passed down. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. For me, it's really watching the people that I care about most and seeing how they um, like work with other people. So when you see other people be generous, it kind of inspires you too? Yeah. Mm, that's awesome. Awesome. I agree. I think it does come down to the people that obviously you've grown up with or the people you surround yourself with. But I think there's also plenty of examples in other written form, things that you've read, maybe um, things that you've seen, right? Obviously the Bible has many examples of that. Um, and it's also, I think, I've learned from generosity that's been given to me. So certain things that have happened to me that I was like, that was pretty cool. I should try to pass it along, right? Mm, mm -hmm. Pass it forward. Right. Yeah, give it to someone else. Um, and hopefully it makes the same impact that it did on me. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you. I think, yeah, yeah hearing definitely how, um, you know, genero the more generosity that we experience, the more we feel inspired to, to pass more generosity on and pass that attitude down to the people that we meet. That's really cool. 
good kind of contagious. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is definitely something you want to catch on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Anderson yeah. family. Yeah.